Yeshua. Praise the Lord, beloved brothers and sisters. Peace, mercy, grace from God the Father and our Lord Christ Jesus be unto all of your souls, beloved brothers and sisters. Amen. Each and every day that we sit here and we get to gather and we get to speak the word of, of life, spiritual things. Remember, with this servant of God, it ain't got nothing to do with the flesh, but spiritual things to encourage you and enlighten you and bring revelations that, and asking God, the Father of all creation, for his wisdom and his knowledge, amen, that comes from the heavens above, beloved brothers and sisters, that is not given to many people. And I was, as I was sitting here earlier on Facebook, on here on my social media platform, and gonna post it on my um, on this YouTube channel that I got too. So if you guys want, hey, subscribe to it. Is uh, servant Leroy Ortiz, servant of the Lord, Amen. Servant of God. It's got a bright morning star on it, just like this page, because that is what what we are. We're stars, Amen. We're lights. We're light bearers. And every time y'all see, I'm in the dark. It's, it's dark over here. It's, it's very cloudy, but. The light radiates through us that is given to us from the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Praise God. And not in, in deception spirits, but in truth. Amen. In spirit and in truth. As we go through these times, beloved brothers and sisters, and I'm here to encourage you to let you, you guys know and, uh, and understand what our great God Almighty has called us out to from the darkness into the marvelous light to shine. Amen. And you're going to have these spirits. That, that are out here that try to try to outdo you, or try to be more wiser than you, or try to tell you scripture, twisting it to their own demise, amen. A lot of people are have seared their own conscience, beloved brothers and sisters, amen. And don't let that be you. We all have room for correction. We can all understand what God has given unto us, amen. Being light bearers, being called out of the darkness into the marvelous light to do his work, his will, his way. Not the ways of this world. The world ain't going to understand it or the people that are still living worldly. Amen. We are spiritual beings, saints. We are spiritual beings, people. All of you that have an ear to hear. Amen. This tonic of skin that, that is covering you, child. This tonic of, of skin, this tent. It's called a tent. If you all read the scriptures, it says a tent covering. It's talking about your skin. Amen. That, that was made of dust. From dust you have came, to dust you shall return. Amen. And the spirit in the time will return unto the Lord of hosts, God Almighty, when we go face judgment. Everybody's still asleep, y'all. Y'all don't let nobody continue selling y'all this hog about, about that when you die, you sit here automatically go to heaven because the devil is alive. In Job, it tells you nobody goes and I'll, sh I'll share those scriptures, I'll find it for you, and I will post it after I sit here and, and finish this, so that way you can see and search it for yourself and where it shows. Nobody's risen. Nobody, everybody's asleep. Amen. And, and don't let people sell you that hog, because you're going to be surprised at who you see in the kingdom of heaven, beloved brothers and sisters. Amen. Each day as we sit here, we go through these times, they're going to have spirits that are going to come and test you, with the worldly philosophy and all of this mess. But we know that that's nothing before the Almighty. Amen. Praise God. That's not nothing before the Lord of hosts. And we are not God's spirits. We're not God's. Amen. We can't do what the Lord of hosts has done. Or can do. Amen. None of us can. And it's only if it's in the will of the Lord for us to be performed miracles, and, and heat it or whatever because it's in the name of Christ Jesus, amen. But we got to be pure and clean spiritually. Our garments got to be without spot and blemish. We're going to spit, we're going to sit here and praise and worship. And I, and I, I it's just, you know what, there's a lot of misunderstanding, there's a lot of misinterpretations of this, of these scriptures, amen. That has got a lot of people deceived. Not only that, beloved brothers and sisters, there's a lot of people that 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 uh, are unskilled in the word of righteousness, like Hebrew says, Amen. And many people, as it says in another scripture, 
twist these gospels to their own destruction as they do the rest of the scriptures, being unskilled and un unlearned. Amen. And at these end times, when God is sitting here putting that in our mouths to sit here, we ought to bless the Lord. And we're going to do that right now. Amen. As we sing praises unto God and give him glory and honor him for who he is. As many of you spirits that are walking through the valley of a shell of death, thinking you're walking in light, have been seared. Amen. Have been seared your own conscience. Even more. Many spirits allow themselves to be influenced to believe. Amen. Influenced to believe their own deception. Amen. And we're going to sit here and, and read some of this. Let, let us pray. Always, always pray to the Lord of hosts, God Almighty, and give Him glory and honor Him and thank Him for who He is and what He's doing us. Even more for cleansing our garments. Cleansing our heart, clearing, cleansing our unrighteousness, cleansing our unjustness, beloved brothers and sisters. And to see, we can sing joyous. And just being in the peace and the presence of the Almighty. There's nothing, there's nothing like it. There's nothing above it. There's nothing that can compare to it. Amen. It don't matter. No, no riches can sit here and purchase this. No uh, bending over backwards. No desire of the flesh can sit here and purchase this spirit. Only God can give it to you. Amen. The Lord of hosts, my master Christ Jesus. Amen. Who sit here and, and purifies us with his blood. Washes in water, purifies and sanctifies us with his blood. Amen. Praise God. Heavenly Father, glorious and wonderful are you to have privileges and opportunities to sit here and gather again, Father. To gather again and sit here and righteously divide the word of truth as you command us from, from the days of old. If people would... Oh, at this moment, Father God, first and foremost, we're, at, we're thanking you, and we're going to praise you. We're going to worship you, Father God, and we ask you, Lord, that you cleanse our hearts, make it pure, without spot and blemish, Father God, so these prayers that we give unto you will be a sacrifice that is acceptable to you, Father God. Whatever my brothers and my sisters are, are praying right now in the name of Christ Jesus that's within their hearts, whatever they're going through, whatever situation, whatever doubt, whatever fear, work it, show them how much special they are. They're, they're a special treasure unto you, those that are truly seeking to you, Father God, looking to find your face, Lord. Not your favor, but seek your face to follow your judgments, your, your statutes, and, and your precepts, Lord, that we can find ourselves in the freedom that is found in you. Just as my master Christ was pure in your eyes, pure and righteous, and became sin for our, for us, so that way, and showed us a way that we could walk and be in communion with you always, that you would hear us, Father. We're asking you this day for you to forgive us if we've done anything that's disrespectful to you, Father God. For we sin for we sin against you alone. We mistreat and, and mislead each other, but we sin against you, Almighty God. Some people being unskilled at this word, Father God, and even like my brothers and my brothers and my sisters that have their their, their own conscience seared already with, with their own deceptions, Father God, and they're influencing each other as you seen, because you're a witness to everything, as the Spirit is a witness to everything before you, Father God, and, and will be a witness against us that they were standing before you, Father. I ask you that you sit here and open their eyes to see, Lord. Open their eyes to see even more the eyes of their heart. Fill them with your light, with your love. Father God, heal them and purge them of all the unrighteousness and all the unjust. Purge them, Father God. Purge us all of, of, our, of any deception. Even more, remove the scales from our eyes, Lord, so that we can see and, and, and hear your, your, your you and open up our ears so we can hear spiritual things that come only from you. I love you more than life itself, Father God, and I can't do nothing but thank you for everything that you have done for me. I pray in Jesus' name, Yeshua HaMashiach, that you sit here and do that for my brothers and my sister and strengthen them spiritually so that way they can be walking in the newness, becoming that new creature as you told us, become these new creatures, putting off the old and taking on the new, not only from the physical flesh but the spiritual being that's within us, Holy Father, even more taking up that new name that is found in you called Freedom, Redeemed, Rock, uh, the rocks that, that are building your church on firm foundation, which is our Christ. Lead us and guide us and protect us, Father God, as we sit here and we praise and worship unto you, living, omnipotent, sovereign God. 
as we soar with you, Father. In the mighty name of my master, Christ Jesus, Yeshua, and in mighty name we pray. Amen. Each day, beloved brothers and sisters, let none deceive you. And if you've been deceived, please, please stop. And stop twisting these scriptures to, to your own destruction, beloved brothers and sisters, because you're only doing yourself hurt. You ain't hurting nobody else but ourselves when we sit here and try to do the things that we're not supposed to do. Amen. That's not according to, to the Lord of hosts, God of all creation. He's the creator of the universe. He created us to be a holy being, a, a, a holy thing. Amen. Not a, not, not a filthy thing, perverse, crooked, or, or any of that mess, or in our weaknesses, or in our excuses. Because he don't make no excuses, and he's not going to accept any when we're standing before the throne, beloved brothers and sisters. So, let us praise this song. July 4th sale with our lowest prices of the season. And if y'all see, y'all need to quit selling, celebrating these girls. And the Radley Sectional Sales Center. Because they don't work with God. Amen. They do not work with God, saints. We are light bearers, lights of this world. Here I remind myself what you said over me. Here I remind my soul who you are. You said you won't relent, won't let go, won't forget. Every promise you have whispered in my heart As I wait, as I wait on you I'm gonna walk and not grow weary I'm gonna walk and not grow faint Rise up on wings like eagles to soar I know in everything you with me I'm gonna walk in as I wait You step with your person, I will sing on and on. You're the river when the ground I walk is dry. You will set the crooked straight in my path, make a way. You will lead me from the valley to the heights as I wait. As I wait on you, I'm gonna run and not grow weary. I'm gonna walk and not grow faint. Rise up on wings like eagles to soar. I know with everything you with me. I know you're working, Almighty God, as we wait. Lift us up on wings like eagle, Holy Father, to soar with you, Lord. Creator, keeper, my heart reader, your name is greater than anything we face. Sustainer, Savior, stronghold breaker, your name is greater than anything we face. As I wait, as we wait on. I will wait, God, I will wait on you. I'm going to run and not grow weary. I'm going to walk and not grow faint. God works up on wings like eagles to soar. I will wait in your way. I'm going to walk and not grow weary. Praise the Lord, beloved brothers and sisters, as we sit here and we go 
through these times. Amen. Many people, beloved brothers and sisters, and please don't let that be you. Amen. Listen. Don't twist gospel to your own destruction, saints. Amen. Don't do that to yourself. Praise the Lord. When you, many professing, like the word of God says, to be wise have become foolish in the ways that you speak, think, act, and do things. Amen. That ain't got nothing to do with righteousness and just still continuing doing wickedness, even more influencing and encourage each other to continue doing likewise spirits, becoming thus stumbling blocks one to another. Amen. Calling an evil thing good and a good thing evil. Amen. Because there's no pleasure in you guys think many people in the, that are walking in the flesh, carnal, carnally spirits, y'all don't think that there is no, no pleasure in being righteous. Amen. Many people, saints, y'all, y'all don't, y'all do not believe that there is any fun that can be with being righteous. And the devil is a lie. Amen. Praise God, for we know. That there is peace in righteousness. For we don't have the desire to continue destroying, influence, doing evil, being wicked, being foul, perverse, or crooked. Even more dirtying ourselves from, from what we have been liberated from. Amen. Praise God. Because of Christ and His mercy and His grace and His, and his even more His forgiveness that is found in us. For becoming things that we should not. And refusing to, to become the things that we should. Amen. Break it. That shouldn't. That we shouldn't. Amen. Many people in this day and age. And please, you, you only do. When we twist the gospels. You only do it to your own hurt spirit. Because you're only hurting yourself. And the people that are around you. Misleading them and believing that that's not possible. A lot of people are going to be envious at your freedom that you can just be still and be in peace. Amen. Without having to uh, fulfill the desires of the flesh. Even more spirits to sit here and do the things that are un unholy, unpure, defiling your garments, smoking, drinking, cussing, fornicating. Yeah, I think it's, it, it, it's, 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 it's a natural common thing to you guys. And a lot of y'all people, what you guys do is influence one another and encourage one another to continue doing these things. And you're only going to be facing judgment. You're storing up wrath for yourself, as Romans says. Amen. Tells us this in Romans 2. And we'll read some of that. Amen. But there's no... There's no uh, there is no, there's no, nothing good that can come out of that. Amen. Our purchase could be free when you use even your credit then, card even then. Card, free groceries, free gas, and then we can just play some music. I love to praise and worship it and live for the Lord and love on Him because you know what? He died to give me freedom. He died to give us freedom. He died to give us joy that a lot of people still can't find it. Amen. It's a little bit longer. I need to give you tambourine. When the wind and the storm look a little bit stronger. Praise the Lord. When the fear in my heart digs a little bit deeper. When my faith stands a little bit weaker. Where could I run to? Where could I go? Even when the world is like my world is shaking, even when I've had all that I can take alone, you never let me go. Whoa. Even when the waters don't stop rising, even when I've gone in the dead of night, I know. No matter how it is, you're with me even then.
when the days look a little, look a little bit brighter. <laughs> a little bit tighter. I remind you to breathe. Never ask for perfection. One restore, give me all that I stand forgiven. Even when I feel like my world is shaking, even when I've had all that I can take, and no, you never let me go. Whoa. And even when the waters don't stop rising, even when I'm caught in the And even in the middle of a struggle And even when it's hard to remember You were on my defense and I'm standing on your promises And I know that even in the thick of a battle And even through the valley of a shadow You were on my defense when I'm standing on your promises so Where could I run to? Where could I go? My world is shaking Never let me go Even when the water On the dead of night I know How it is You're with me No matter how it is, God is with us even then, beloved brothers and sisters. Amen. Calling my names And they're gonna come Amen My God is so much bigger Than, than all of I face. All the troubles and all of the things that we face Amen Why would I hunger For power or riches Or fame Amen. Praise God. Each day, saints. Each day. Each day. Each day. Our God is faithful. Our God is the rock. Is your God the rock? Is he making you a light bearer so he can shine on you wherever you are at? Amen. Praise God. We can speak to our mountains. We can tell it. Get. Move. Amen. Get on out of here. I got a God that relatedly pursues. I got a God that is going to sit here and stand by my side, I got a God that's going to light my way. Amen. I got a God that sends angels to encamp around those that belong and are all truly of Him. Amen. Praise God. No matter what we are going through this day, beloved brothers and sisters, no matter what battles that you face, know, have faith and believe that God, the God of the impossible that we sit here and proclaim out of our mouth, let it start pouring out of our hearts. Amen. Like rivers of, of living water. We are not wells without without living water that God gives unto us, amen. Us that he's calling out of the darkness, out of the, into the marvelous light to do his will, to find his children, to speak life to his brothers, to, to those that are, are broken, to uplift them in the strength and the encourage and not leave our brothers and our sisters down or professing weakness or speaking nothing that is unclean and unpure unto the almighty God, amen. Praise God, for he, we, he created us to be a holy creature, a holy being, beloved brothers and sisters, and don't let nobody in this world, nobody, Nobody, nobody. Not even yourselves, your deceptions, your 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 yesterdays, your faults or your failures, because those are gone. Amen. 
And only we can manifest those. Only you yourself, Spirit, can sit here and manifest that and let it dwell in your in your mind, in your noggin, in your heart, and in your soul to keep you bound in shackles and deceptions and fall in a fallen state in your pity. Get up out of that rut. Amen. Our Father just want to sit here and uplift us in his righteousness. With his hand he will lift you, child. With his hand he will lift you and set you upright. Brothers and sisters, I'm here to proclaim the goodness of God, the righteousness and the justness of our omnipotent sovereign God, who we're going to be standing before on judgment day, beloved brothers and sisters. I'm here to proclaim the freedom that is found in Christ Jesus, the newness that is found that we that He fills us with within Him. Amen. Not out of bondage, it's not out of excuses, nothing of desires of the flesh. I don't speak worldly things. I speak spiritual things. I th I speak things that will be unto your saving of your souls in spirit and in truth, showing, amen, by the hand of God, the things and the light that, that shines upon us, even in these darkened times, spirits. And we won't, don't, don't be moved or fall to the beggarly elements of this world. Amen? None of that, none of that, as we sit here, we wait on the Lord. Amen? All of us, all of us, all of us. Don't influence each other to sit here and continue being fallen. And stop twisting scripture to your own destruction to keep you fallen or in your excuse or, or in your deception. And stop listening to people that are feeding you with such. Amen? We wait for you. Praise the Lord. We, we wait for you. We wait for you. To walk in the room. We wait for you. As we sit here, we wait on the Lord. To be in His peace and His presence. We wait for you. We wait. To walk into the room of your heart to cleanse your house and help you. To walk in the room. Praise you, omnipotent sovereign God. Faithful and loving and merciful. Forgiven to set captives free. Set us anew, Father God. Spiritually rebuilding us and filling us with your light with your peace, with your contentment and true joy, just to be found in the Lord. Amen. We wait for you. We wait for you. We wait for you. Walk in the room. Here we are standing in your presence. Here we are standing in your presence. Shekinah glory come down. Holy Spirit come down. Here we are standing in your presence. Here we are. Standing in your presence, Shekinah glory come down. Release the fullness of your spirit. Holy Spirit, come down. Amen. Pray the Lord. Release the fullness of your spirit. Kind of glory come, oh Holy Spirit come, move and we want more, and you speak and we want more, and you move and we want more, more of your fullness, and you move and we want more, and you speak 
and we want more, and we grew, and we want more, more of the fullness, least the fullness of your spirit, Shekinah glory come, Shekinah glory come, release the fullness of your spirit. Praise the Lord. Can't get enough. Can't get enough. Can't get enough of your presence. Presence. Can't get enough of your presence. Presence. Can't get enough of your presence. Presence. Can't get enough. Can't get enough. And we want more. And you. And we want more, and we want more, more of your fullness, release the full, every day, ask the Lord to sit here, release the fullness of his spirit to fall on us, amen, and fill us with this light, even more with this contentment and the true joy that is only found in him, saints, that is only found in him, praise God, each and every day as we sit here, we're going Going through these times, saints. Don't let nobody in this world, nobody in this world, to sit here and mislead you or deceive you in this world where it's gotten ratchet and people are unskilled at the word. Amen. They're unskilled. As many spirits that are walking through the valley of a shadow of death y'all get it swallowed up in the darkness amen blending in you're blending in instead of standing out and shining as the light that you are spirits guess what we have started to sit here and blend in with the darkness amen god says if we if we are lights where how much how much if we're lights or if you got darkness how dark is that darkness that's within you spirit amen praise god because it can't be that it can't be that, saints. It can't be that, child. Either you're going to be a child of God or a child of, uh, uh, of wrath. Because you can't be both spirits. Amen. Though you walk to a valley, shut it down, thinking you're walking in the light. Having seared your own conscience even more. Even more, many spirits allow themselves to be influenced to believe. you influenced to believe spirits. Their own deception. When you congregate, Within what is an impure and unholy thing, making what the Lord of hosts made and my master purified with his blood unto holiness with water and sanctified with that of his blood to make himself a righteous people, a holy people. Amen. Praise God and all of you that have an ear to hear. Please hear what the Spirit is saying. Amen. Unto all of you. Make ourselves at our belief as a common thing. Having given themselves to unto good intentions with wrong motives. Amen. Praise God. With sensual in word or expression. Amen, word or expression, instead of soundness and in truth, spirits. Proverbs 16, 28 says, There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways to death. Amen. Many under the influence of the flesh and the sensuality give yourselves over to become stumbling blocks to each other, even more unto yourselves calling evil good and to do good an evil or a hard thing. For whatever reason you choose to receive your, your desire or pleasure bound to an emotion or etc. Amen. And the word says many not knowing the interpretation of a thing and unskilled in the word or message of righteousness 
amen, have caused a whole lot of you people to error. And we're fixing to read Hebrews 5.13. Amen. We're going to read that in just a second because we need to understand. Amen. And not only are we many people that have hold this covenant of the Lord of hosts in their mouth spirits. They are unskilled at the message of righteousness. As we're fixing to read in Hebrews. Not only not ever learning or teaching to leave the beggarly elements of this world. But easily return to them as the word of God says. For lack of self-control or spiritual strength. And soundness, solidness of the mind to understand for lack of understanding wisdom from the heavens and knowledge, as we're fixing to read in Leviticus 26 24, where God says, If we walk contrary to Him, He's going to walk contrary to us. Amen. Praise God. Hebrews 5. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you. Amen? To teach you, says the Word of God. Teach you. You need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God. And you have come to need milk and not solid food. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness. Amen. Praise God. And a lot of y'all, even if you gather in your little homes or whatever to sit here and speak the word, don't look for the promises if you're not going to sit here and accept the corrections. Because God corrects the children that he loves. Amen. And if you refuse to partake in that, you do not become sons of God. And he tells us this in his word. Amen. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness. For he is a baby. But solid food belongs to those who are full of age. That is those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. And that should be you, spirits. That should already be you. Amen. Don't let nobody sit here and tell you. That, oh, you can't. No, the devil is a liar. God didn't say you can't. God said he overcame so that what? You can overcome. A lot of people in this day and age, saints, a lot of people in this day and age, spirits, will sit here because they choose to sit here and not get out of that rut, will try to sit here and label you and call you things or, or, or make light of, of, of your freedom, of your life, because they choose to not set their houses in order. Amen. But God will help you set an order. The, the thing is, we are allowing ourselves only to have God help us in only the things that we choose to. And not the whole reformation. Reformation. Reformation of our mind, our soul, and our spirit, saints. Amen. Walking contrary to the Lord. As it tells us in Levit Leviticus. And walking contrary to him, he's going to walk contrary to you, spirits. And a lot of you people are not understanding. You know what you do? You rebel more against the Almighty God to your own destruction because God, God, everybody thinks that God is just so brokenhearted. He already poured his life out. Amen. He already poured it out for us to sit here and gain even more, find our place in him. He ain't going to beg us. None of us. Amen. And a lot of you people that twist the scriptures or try to sit here and use them against somebody that is walking the Bible, that is living the Bible, as we're supposed to be doers of the word and not just hearers. When you get sit here and spoken to that, you know what, let's evaluate our life. God, did God say to work out and worry what you're doing or somebody else or to work out your own salvation with trembling? Amen. Because I think the word of God says for us to work on our own. And not to become stumbling blocks to one another. Leviticus 26.21 tells us. 
Then if you walk contrary to me and are not willing to obey me, I will bring on you seven times more plagues according to your sins. Amen. Not only that, he tells us throughout this, this book to obey his covenant, to obey his commandments, to obey his statutes, to walk in righteousness, to find that narrow path, stop living in your excuse, stop living, trying to live in somebody else's life and start getting ourselves together. Amen. Praise God. Beloved brothers and sisters, and there's going to be witches and warlocks. There's going to be people that are going to come and try to test your knowledge and try to influence you or try to see it. But you know what? We don't receive it. They're not going to receive it when you're walking in the spirit, but you're going to bring correction. And everybody's welcome to sit here and do it the way they want to. I'm going to do it the way Christ showed me to. Amen. Because this is the only way that's going to be able to stand if we became Christ-like. Amen. Each day as we go through this time, stop congregating amongst yourselves, saints, and all of you spirits that have an ear to hear. To keep yourself influenced, to continue believing in your own deceptions and other people encouraging you. You don't know their motive because if the motive was righteous and true, they will tell you the errors of our ways. Amen. Praise God. That is not according to the gospel of salvation, of purity, of righteousness, of cleanness. Amen. In this day and age, they're going to try you. They're going to try you. They're going to come to you in a way that, that is not about the Lord. And remember, just because we are all different kinds of ways does not mean, beloved brothers and sisters, that that we're right. There's only one way that's going to matter before the Lord of hosts. Amen. And that's if we were sitting here doing the things that God has asked us to. Amen. You know how it is you looked at me. Sing to the Lord. And saw the person that I could be Awakening my heart, breaking through the dark Smiling your grace Like sunlight burning at midnight Something so beautiful, beautiful Mercy reaching to save me All that I need so beautiful, beautiful. Now there's a joy inside I can't contain. I'll sing praises to my master. But even perfect days can end in rain. And though it's pouring down, I see you through the clouds, shining on my face. Amen, praise God. Sunlight's running at midnight. Heart something so beautiful, beautiful. Mercy reaching to save me. Sun so beautiful, beautiful. Let us pray this out, beloved brothers and sisters. No, we are lights. I tell you what, there's light. We are light bearers, people. Uh, I don't know how anymore I can tell you guys. Stop influencing yourselves to continue being in the dark. If we are lights of this world, Scripture tells us, or we, are, we got darkness within us. How dark is that darkness, saint? How dark is, is that darkness, spirit? Because it shouldn't be at all. Amen. It should not be at all. And don't worry about the haters. They're going to hate. They're going to be envious about the freedom that is within you. That you don't have to sit here and try to meet the statues of this world. Or you have to meet or, or be a certain kind of way. Because we're not going to sit here and blend in with the darkness. Amen. We can't be light and darkness at the same time. Amen. Each day I'm, I'm here to encourage you and show y'all. I can't do that. Because it's growing through us. Amen. In a positive way. And, and I, I just can't. 
Y'all gonna be so surprised on Judgment Day. We said, I sent you a light bearer. I sent you somebody that was speaking the truth. I sent you one of your own, and meaning in the flesh, a worldly thing, just like he sent Christ. Christ has sent us to come speak to his people, speak scripture, speak the Lord, for we are dead and are filled with the light and the love of the Lord. You know why? Because we're speaking truth. We're not speaking to your feelings. We're not speaking to your flesh. We're speaking to your heart, and we're speaking to the saving of your soul. Amen. I hear the voice, the voice of the one I love, and he's calling our name. Can you hear him coming? Praise the Lord. He said, Come up higher. You hear the angels sing. Come up higher, my beloved. Come up higher and leave the world behind. You'll find him to be more beautiful. Heavenly Father, as we sit here, we just close out this day. I can't thank you so much for, for privileging this wretched wretch right here to be found, to be found, to open my eyes, Father God, to the deception of this world, to even the excuses that I used to live in, to the darkness that I was in, and pulled me out to the marvelous light to do your work and be a light bearer to them that are out there, Lord. I love you, Lord. I'm asking you, Lord of hosts, God Almighty. That as we sit here, we speak and that you bless my brothers and my sisters. Fill them with the light and the truth. Remove the scales from their eyes, Holy Father. Even more, look into their heart. Let the light shine in, their, in all the rooms of their heart, Father God. Even mine. Even mine. If there's any schism or any scum that's in me, help me. Correct me. Purge me of all the unrighteousness so I can be a flame and fire for you, Father God. Filled with the Holy Spirit. Nothing but it. To sit here and do your will your way, Father God. The way you commanded it. As I sit here and I speak, Father God, these words and of living life into my brothers and my sisters that are out there, Father God. That you fill them with the light too. That you shine in their darkness. In their troubled times, Father God. In their doubts and their fears. Or any excuses or, or past failures that they're still holding on to, Father God. Anything that, that's in their heart that's dark. Shine your light in them and show them that you're there, Father God. Help us all to sit here and overcome any things, any battles, any trials, any tribulations, any doubts, any fears of anything. For you created us, Father God, to be a holy and a righteous people, light bearers in this darkness at this day and age. Fill my brothers and my sisters, Lord, with the, with the contentment and joy, with the love of you, the presence of the Holy Spirit, just to be in the peace that he has left unto us, my Master Christ. Heal those that are out there that are sick, Father God. As we come in agreement, anybody that's struggling with anything, Father God, we're praying on their behalf and interceding for them that are lost on drugs, that are bound in chains, that are bound in excuses, that are in a fallen state, Father God, that you manifest yourself in their lives and show them how it's truly special that they truly are and how we can truly be standing in the freeness and the newness of life. All those that are out there that, that are in need of anything, Father God, manifest yourself in them, Father God, so you can sit here and provide the things that they need. You let it rain, my not, with our ancestors in the wilderness, Father God, that you could open up the windows of heaven and sit here and rain down the things that we need, even more your spirit. Pour it upon us, Father God, even more the anointing, the strength and the courage that we all need to continue going in that righteous and narrow path. Lead us all in the way that we should go, Father God, for your word is a light unto our path, Father God. Your word is strength. Your word is living and powerful as a two-edged sword, opening us, enlightening us, Father God, and enlightening us, fill us, Father God, with the things that we lack. By faith and believe in you, Lord, I know that you are working in my master Christ Jesus, Yahshua, in the mighty name we pray. Amen. Come running to the Lord. Amen. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Christ loves you. God, God loves you. The creator of the universe, Yahweh, Yahshua, great I am, Lord of hosts. Hey, y'all, hey. That's his name. Amen. And this, and this, in, the, in the native language, and that's Hebrew. Amen. If y'all do some study in Hey Y'all, Hey Y'all, Hey, it's, it's native for great I am, and it 
Hebrew for great I am. We're all, we're all, Lord. I love y'all. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Amen. God is righteous. God is just. God is light. And he's filling all of us. Finding you. Finding you. Finding you. Finding you. I have a blessed and wonderful evening. And may the love of God truly be in, abound in your heart. The strength and the courage to overcome. Even the excuses that we have in our mouth and in our mind. Amen. Yes. Yeah. He's purging out. He's purging out and finding his light bearers. His, his true children of promise. And that's why we can walk in the newness of life. Filled with his light. I love y'all. Don't lose hope. We have hope in Christ. He made that way. He made all things possible. All we have to do is grab on and grab hold of truth. Amen. Even more swallow it so we can change from the inside out. I love y'all. Have a blessed and wonderful evening. God bless.